Instead of using a paper towel every time a man goes to the bathroom, he soaks toilet paper and balls it up into a small ball. When he had gathered eight, he balled it up into one big ball. Deliberately, he puts it on the door lock frame while the guards are delivering food, so that even if the guards lock the window with force, he can easily open it. However, this was not enough for him to escape, because he was locked up in a prison like a birdcage, with guards monitoring his every move. On this day, the guards gave them their usual carton of milk. In the eyes of others, it was just simple milk, but in the man's eyes, it had become a tool for escaping from prison. He unwrapped the milk carton and wrapper, and with a flick of his fork, he easily obtained a piece of film paper. Finally, when the prison guards were off guard, he pasted the film paper on the door lock, and the six small fingerprints left by the prison guards became the code for the escape. The man then uses his high IQ to deduce the code, and quietly opens the window when the guards aren't looking. After one try after another, he manages to escape from the prison. However, it is not easy to escape the patrolling prison guards and shooters in the playground. Fortunately, the man had observed the prison surroundings before he entered. He realized that next to the prison was a fire station. So, he intentionally injured his companion while letting off steam and ended up in the confinement cell. And inside the confinement cell was the closest to the fire station. Meanwhile, the companion outside the door deliberately detonated the car. The man climbed through the ventilation ducts and escaped without incident, pretending to be a fireman. By the time the patrolling prison guards checked on the officers, the man had long since run away in his companion's automobile. Every time the prison guards delivered milk, the man would remove the film from it and stick it on the prison door lock while the guards were not being. In this way, he got the password of the prison without any problem. Finally, he escaped from the prison through his companion's reception. But when he got out, he didn't really leave. He returned to the prison again because he was a prison inspector, that is, pretending to be a prisoner to escape from prison, test the prison's degree of other defense. This day, a female buyer sees his ability and asks him to test an even more mysterious prison. He also puts a tracker on the man to prevent him from having an accident. At first, the man blusters that he'll escape in three days. He didn't realize that just as he left the house, he was put in a car by a group of mysterious men, even to the point of digging the tracker out of his body with force. When he woke up again, he realized that he had been put into a mysterious prison. The cells here are fully transparent and suspended, and there is a monitor watching the micro-expressions of the prisoners at all times. The man realizes that he has played a big game this time, and he approaches the warden to confess his identity, saying that he doesn't want to play anymore. It turns out that the warden doesn't give a damn about him, because anyone who comes here is unlikely to escape. Realizing that they've been pumped by the female buyer, the two can only wait and see what happens first, checking out the prison's inner workings. Unsurprisingly, a bearded man then sees that he has to tricks up his sleeve, and wants to break out of the prison together. To show his sincerity, the bearded man said that he had been here for three years, and he noticed that the sound of water running often came from here, and the building was also vertical, and he suspected that where the prison was located was underground. The man saw this and did not refute it. At night, he let the bearded man deliberately fight to attract the attention of the prison guards, and he himself climbed all the way up the pipe. But how could he not have imagined that after poking his head out, he found that they were actually imprisoned in the sea, above all the soldiers stationed on the vast ocean, it was impossible for anyone to escape. The men make jailbreak tools under the table every time they eat, because they are locked up on an endless ocean. One must get their bearings before they can escape. But this small action of his was soon discovered by the prison guards, who were monitoring the situation in real time. They began to torment the man non-stop. Whenever he got sleepy, the guards knocked on the glass. Whenever he fell asleep, the guards attacked him with electric batons. After a few days, the man's spirits soon fell into a state of decay. But it was all a reprieve, for the bearded man had found the locator map. He found that the water flow from the toilet was counterclockwise, and with the positioning, he was sure that the location they were in was the northern hemisphere. But after determining the location, they had to send a signal for their companions to come to their rescue. The man suddenly thinks of the only doctor in the prison, so he purposely lets the bearded man stab himself, and then runs to the infirmary for the doctor to patch him up. After a few days of getting along, the man reveals his true identity, and coupled with a few days of softening his words, the simple doctor immediately decides to help them send a distress signal. Now everything was ready, all that was needed was the east wind. At night, he purposely reads Morse code in his sleep, and when the warden looks over, he realizes that he's talking about an escape from the east exit after 3 o'clock. Then the warden sent out all the prison guards, came to the east exit surrounded in advance. And beknownst to them, this act just caught the men in a trap, as their plan was to break out of the prison at the west exit. Sure enough, by the time they got out down the pipe, their companions were already waiting in a helicopter. When the warden realized that the situation was not right, he immediately climbed up the plywood, not realizing that the two men had already followed the helicopter was withdrawing. Seeing that the warden kept shooting, the man took the bearded man's spray and shot at the gasoline on the deck. In this way, the two men successfully escaped from the prison. And in the end, the man realized that the woman seller who deceived him into the prison in the beginning was the bearded man's daughter. 
and he did it all so that he could help the bearded man to escape from the prison smoothly. This movie tells us that we are not afraid of the world if we learn mathematics and science. Sometimes a smart thinking will pull you at the critical moment.